Hello everyone, welcome to Computer Aid. Today we will learn about the OSI model. The full form of OSI is Open System Interconnection. Open system allow two different communicating devices with different architecture. Now OSI model built with seven ordered layer. Why why it is called order because we cannot change the sequence of the layers. Now the first layer is physical layer, then data link, network, transport, session, presentation and application. There is many technique to remember the sequence of the layers. What I suggest to remember the first letters of the layers that is P, D, N, T and S, P, A that is physical data link network, transport, session, presentation and application. You can also remember it by remembering a line that is please do not touch Steve's pet alligator that means physical data link network transport session presentation and application in this way we can also remember the sequence of the layers now we show the layer involves when a message sent from one device to another suppose this is a sender and this is a receiver now in the application layer when we type a message from user or a mail it is an application layer then the data transfer layer from layer to layer in this way it is when it is in physical layer it is converted into sequence of bits then from physical layer when we want to transmit the data through any transmission medium may be guided or unguided then it is converted into signals and when the signal reaches to receiver end it can also convert it to bit of stream in physical layer and it moves through the upper layers and when it is into application layer we can get the actual message sent from the sender now We learn the function of each layer in brief. At first, function of physical layer. Here, in physical layer, data come from layer, its upper layer that is data link layer. We write here L2, that means layer 2. And it is converted into a bit of stream in physical layer. This is physical layer. And it is transmitted into transmission medium. And at the receiver end, the 0 1 means stream of bits is converted to actual data. So the first function is to determine the physical characteristics of interface and transmission medium. That means we assure the transmission medium is guided or unguided. If it is guided, we can use optical fiber, twisted pair, or if it's unguided, means wireless. Now, the second function is representation of bits. When it is transmitted to through physical layer the bit of stream change into signals 
and here in the receiver end the signal also change in bit of stream so the signal may be analog or digital so we introduce a technique that is called encoding that take a data as input and produce a digital signal as output there is another technique called modulation it take any data as input but produce a analog signal as output now the next function is data rate data rate is also calculated in physical layer data rate means the number of bit sent per second next the fourth function is synchronization of bits for example if we send 10 one 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 zero this to the tr transmission medium then the signal is like that but when in receiver end it get the signal it can't determine how many ones are received so this synchronization problem is solved by many techniques for example we take rz technique this is called return to zero here we take three levels one is zero level then is positive level and a negative level now we draw 101110 here to draw one at first half it is in zero level then we draw one then zero so in first level it is in level zero and next half in negative then first one like that second one is also like that for third one we draw this so now we can determine there is three ones in the receiver end now we come to the next technique there is line configuration there are two type of line configuration if two devices are connected through a dedicated link is called point to point and if a shared link is between several devices it is called multi point configuration now the next function is multiplexing there is two type of multiplexing one is fdm that is frequency division multiplexing frequency division multiplexing in frequency division multiplexing suppose three node share a link this is a mux and in receiver end 
Who's the Dmux? Now, for frequency division multiplexing, if the link with suppose 30 kilohertz, then it is divided into 3 and for user 1, it can send data with 10 kilohertz, for user 2 also and user 3 also 10 and 10 and 10 kilohertz data it can send. But in time division multiplexing, TDM, time division multiplexing, suppose it is user 1, user 2 and user 3 if user 1 want to send data it is a time quantum then user 2 also send data and user 3 also and then user 1 in this way it happened now the next function is topology topology means structure of the network it may be a bus or star or mesh like that then the next and final is transmission mode transmission mode may be simplex means data can send one way then half duplex means data can send both way but not at the same time or it may be in full duplex means data can send both way and same time now we discuss the function of data link layer data link layer is look like this way data link layer the upper layer of data link layer is network layer and the lower layer is physical layer now in data link layer where data are coming from network layer it divided the data into frames so this is a frame and this is also a frame and in receiver end all the frames are reassembled and actual data sent to network layer this whole technique is called framing that means in receiver end the whole data is fragmented into many frames and in receiver end the fragmented frames are reassembled and sent to the network layer now there in this frame there is a header and a trailer portion so if we send suppose we want to send this is the address 1072 this is the address of each node and this is a shared link so frame look like this this is the data portion and this is the header so header consists of the source means 10 and the receiver that means this is the source address and this is the receiver address And this is called, we call it T2, that means trailer 
of layer second that means data link layer so it contain the con error control means it contain extra bit needed for error detection now this whole thing is called physical addressing means in this portion this is called header in header portion we can uh, write the physical address of the source and receiver now the next function is flow control suppose date of data rate of receiver is less than the data rate of sender if this condition occur it may causes some data loose that means data link layer impose flow control mechanism to prevent it now the next is error control suppose sender send a frame in this way sender send a frame and if it is damaged or lost then there is error control mechanism which is achieved through trailer is added at the end of the frame okay now access control if multiple devices are share some link suppose this is a b c d four devices are shared a link suppose a send data to d this is sender and this is receiver in the meantime c also send data to b so c have to wait for a while until the link is free that means it is necessary to determine which device has control over the link so this is called access control okay thank you everyone for listening